Good morning everyone and welcome to this extra special edition of Carnation Crafts TV. Do not adjust your set, my name is Andy. Um, you might be expecting Dave to be joining you on the launch of something exciting from Carnation Crafts. Dave is the modern day Judith Chalmers and he has gone gallivanting so he is away on holiday. Um, so Carnation asked me to fill in and I've been a big fan of the brand for a number of years so naturally um, I was very excited to do so so hopefully you will be able to tolerate my voice and my presence today um, but you know what already a lot of you have already been checking out Carnation on the launch of this brand new collection that we've got available for you um, and it's already proving incredibly popular you can see the details are there on your screen if you've never ever ordered from Carnation Crafts uh, before it's very very easy to do so we will cover that as we go you can go onto the website carnationcrafts.co.uk the headlines are, this is the Hazy Horizons collection. There are an incredible 63 dies included in this collection and the price is absolutely incredible. So let's have a look at the dies that you're getting. So there's two frames this time, two card bases if you like, and you've got the weathered square and you've got the weathered circle. It's very beautiful. You've got those layers going on and he's got a rubber ring or a surfboard, whichever way you want to have it. And then he's got a he's got sun hat and he is very, very beautiful. That's a right corker of Look board. at this, my word. We move on to this one, which is more traditional. Your gorgeous florals. Carnation wouldn't be carnation if you didn't get some florals. And then, mm -hmm. look, this is the one you're gonna use all the time. There are two extra dies that you can buy separately. So it's not part of the collection, but they work in conjunction with it and they're stunning. So you've got the open net here. How blooming gorgeous is that as a DL? One group of people that we know are notoriously difficult to buy for, of course, are men. Um, and I think what you do have here, you do have some examples that would be perfect for the men in your life. Um, because you've got kind of nautical theme within there. So if anyone's into their naval history, for example, these would be elements that could start to incorporate. You'll see I've got some examples here of cars that have also incorporated a couple of those dies that Carla was showing us earlier on. And absolutely right. Um, your first thought might be, oh, well, you know, it works like nets, catfish, that kind of thing. But it actually works particularly well well as a um, subtle background um, but you can also create wonderful scenes within here I mean how many of us right now wouldn't like to be in that particular scene so we're going to have a look at these layers with this weathered card shape and when we start adding that in can you see how, the thing with carnation the quality of the dies see how you get that beautiful edge what I do by adding more is create perspective distance and dimension. I'm going to give myself a hidden ground and device and that's going to sit at the front so I can hide the little mice behind it. Now I can place my mouse because I've hidden the sand on that sign it doesn't matter if she's sitting above and that my friends is incredibly beautiful and it is the Hazy Horizons collection from Carnation which we are launching today. So I'm just I love that color so much there's something really strong it's like a it's like a chalk paint duck. It's like a chalk paint duck egg is the best way I can explain it. It's beautiful. That open net die, I love. Look how well these blues all come together. Isn't that just really pretty? Some almost shabby chic about it. So just sitting that through so I can see. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? That oh. blue dotted paper behind, just very strong on the visual. That white open net sitting there very very strong on the visual the lay in these flat I know I want this one overhanging and I want it in this corner so that's the first that's the first commitment I'm going to make so I'm just making sure that that layers in a way that visually works for me so about there will work just nicely it's just grounding out that rock now one of the little elements that I'm going to have is a shell and I'm just going to tuck this just underneath the anchor it's just a little visual nothing too much and I don't want it to stand out too far a beautiful tall line DL card made with the open net and those nested rope dies. Then the other elements from this most beautiful collection, the Hazy Horizons. This is from Barbara, um, part of the design team. That's a nice one again, making good use of that weathered circle frame. And I think there's just one more I haven't shown you as yet, which I think is this one, uh, which is made by Vera. And again, you can see making good use of the weathered square frame. Work with that circle die. Now, one of the things that I love to make when I'm doing cards more than anything is aperture cards. There's something about an aperture card. This one is going to sit at the bottom or this one doesn't matter, but it means I can lift a little bit and tuck something underneath it. OK, so I'm always putting myself into a position of strength um, so that I can manoeuvre. 
little bit pin flare and I'm going to tuck this just behind that and just over the top of the frame. So it gives you like a shadow box a frame and so if you can see here where you get the dimension of that going through it allows you that really pretty um, kind of it is like a little shadow box essentially. So I've grabbed some of the perfect papers and I've used the mats and layers from the frame. I've gone in with the green so my first layer is the plain and then I've gone in with the polka dots in the same shade. So I thought that would be a nice contrast. Now, the other thing that you, when you download your vignettes, there are some fantastic backing papers with beach scenes on them. And I can tuck that, I can go either on top of that or tuck it under. So that extends that nicely, but that just gives, you really get, a, a, you know, there's a story there, isn't there, of Brian about to go, about to go swimming. We're gonna use Brian. This card, this card makes me really happy. Because what I've done, I mentioned when we did the boards that you can very easily snip away. You've got these little pit marks all the way around. So you can very easily snip away to create a frame. So we'll just pop those on each of those. So that's my background. So if I line up the diamonds on the edge in the center, that is exactly going to be halfway. Just wonderful ways of using your imagination to have something that's very sweet, to have something that's very <laughs> funny, to just look at that. Who would not love <laughs> to get that? That is just absolutely brilliant. Well done, Sharon. See you at home. Thank you very much. We will see you very, very soon. Take care till then. Bye.